Hello friends, this is Brother Carlos here. Let's just go ahead and command evil spirits to leave your mind so you can regain control of it. God gave you free will. God gave you a mind. God gave you the ability to control your mind, to bring every thought into captivity, to the obedience of Christ. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. In other words, let the mind of God be in you. When the mind of God is in you, then no evil spirits can break in. No evil spirits can control your mind. No one, not even human beings, can control your mind. Amen? So you ought to know, you ought to understand the Word of God. I always tell people, you know, hang out with Jesus. Okay, Psalm 91 says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. There's a place that evil spirits never go, and that is in the shelter of the Most High. Amen? So you ought to understand that. The, the closer you get to Jesus Christ, the freer you're going to be. You need to understand that evil spirits cannot break in. They have to have permission in order to bre break in. They have to be given the opportunity to break in. And unfortunately, you know, through ignorance. The Bible says in Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, my people are being destroyed for lack of knowledge. Unfortunately, Due to the lack of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, human beings are allowing Satan to control their minds, okay? And that is a very bad news because Satan knows exactly what to do to bring depression about, to bring suicidal thoughts about, to bring sadness, to bring torment upon someone's mind, amen? So now I'm going to go ahead and command these evil spirits to leave you so you can, you know, regain control of your mind. So this mind control over you performed by people or performed by Satan or demons, okay, will stop. Amen. It's just about to stop now. Amen. Hallelujah. Why don't you just repent of your sins right now and ask Jesus Christ to forgive you? Ask Jesus Christ to save you and to become your Lord and Savior. Right now, you can do it right now in, in, in less than a minute. As I am speaking, you can go ahead and do that. Amen? Let me pray one prayer here right now before we start. Okay? Father, we just come before your holy throne right now. We ask that you forgive us of our sins we have committed against you and against those made in your image. Father, ask right now according to your word in Psalm 34 verse 7, which says the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. Father, I ask right now that you stretch your hands out towards us and towards this person that is listening to this prayer. Father, I ask right now that you anoint this person, that you, Father, bless this person, and that you, Father, forgive this person of all uh, their sins in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for your love and compassion. The Bible says in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. I now exercise authority over every demonic spirit, principalities and powers that have been tormenting this person right now. I command you now to dislodge from this person's brain I command you now, evil spirits, by the power and the authority of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command you now to loose this person's mind. Come out of this person right now in Jesus' mighty name. Stop speaking into this person's mind and stop controlling this mind in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I command you now to shut up, evil spirits, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ and leave this child of the living God alone. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the authority granted to me by Jesus Christ, in Luke 10, 19, I now break all control, demonic control over this person's mind in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that this person now is free to follow Jesus Christ. This person now is free to 
bring into captivity to the obedience of Christ every thought, every thought that comes into his or her mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I command you now, evil spirits, you depart from this person right now, and I command you to shut up, and I command you now to go and leave, leave this person alone now in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. All right, say amen, friend. Okay, so all you have to do is focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. Study the New Testament. Get to know the mind of Christ, okay, by studying the New Testament. Take time. Study the New Testament. That's how you're going to gain knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Once you have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and you know the mind of Christ, you can never allow demons to control your mind any longer. You can never allow, okay, to, uh, you, you, you can never allow anyone, anyone, including human beings, to control your mind any longer. Because you know God has given you free will, okay, amen, to move on with your life. And you can and should, okay, uh, 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 screen all the thoughts that are coming into your mind, okay, so you'll be able to understand what thoughts are coming from the devil and what thoughts are coming from God, amen? Our mind is connected to our spiritual being, okay, so the spiritual beings such as evil spirits, God, Satan, angels, they communicate whenever the even angels, if they are allowed by God to communicate with us, they're going to communicate communicate with us, you know, through our minds, through thoughts. So you have to screen every thought that is coming to your brain so you know whether it's coming from God or coming from the devil. If it's coming from the devil, it's coming to destroy you, to beat you down, to, you know, to destroy your life or even to kill you, okay, prematurely. Amen. Say amen to Jesus. Repent of all your sins. Amen. And start removing the junk that you have brought upon your mind, such as pornography, sexual impurity, sexual immorality. All these things got to go. Okay. In order for you to have a sound mind. Amen. In order for you to have a sound mind. The word of God also speaks of a sound mind. Amen. Hallelujah. So everything that I just said is possible and you can start it now in Jesus' mighty name. Say amen and say, thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you, Jesus, for setting me free in Jesus' mighty name. Say amen. Father, I ask right now that you seal this deliverance and that you fill every empty spot vacated by unclean spirits with the presence of the Holy Spirit in everyone's bodies, minds, souls, and spirits. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hello, friends. This is Brother Carlos, and thanks for watching this video. I'd like to inform you that we have many more videos available in this channel. Also, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to this channel in case you are not yet a subscriber. Amen. Also, like this video if you really like it, you know, and also make sure you leave a comment, you know, saying if, that you like the video or perhaps you didn't like it, you know, whatever comment you like to share. Also, uh, if you need a boost to your deliverance, I have a website which is brothercarlos.com, brothercarlos.com. I am even available to minister to people over the phone if they need a boost to their deliverance. Amen. I'm not talking about a long prayer. It's just a short ministration to help them. You know, that's available as well. Amen. Uh, just visit brothercarlos.com and contact us from there. God bless you now. Have a good day. Bye now.